CBS 42 is your voice, your station, where tonight we're reporting on what Inglenook community members call a neglected neighborhood. The president of the Neighborhood Association says that area has gone unnoticed by the city for years. And Sherry, our camera has caught several overgrown lots and junkyards. And tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Jen Cardone working to get answers from city leaders about what's being done to fix things in this neighborhood. Your concerns brought us here to Jackson Street, right at the Tarrant City line on the edge of the Inglenook neighborhood. It's one of Birmingham's 99 neighborhoods where residents here say they are constantly overlooked when it comes to the city fixing things up. On Jackson Street alone, we found an uncovered manhole, a mangled up car, and a home that runs a car repair business on a property zoned for residential use. It is the city's responsibility to deal with situations like that. Reverend Gwen Cook Webb is the neighborhood president. If he has been allowed to do this all these years, the question to the city officials is why? A question Webb has been asking for several years as properties appear unkept. Even she says they are unsafe. We have got to start paying attention to all neighborhoods. City spokesperson Chandra Temple said in a statement that this property has been written up by inspectors for operating a car repair business. It's a violation of some of the city's ordinances, like you're not allowed to have a bunch of beat up cars like parked on your property. This wouldn't be a business though. That's most of this. These are my dad cars right here. Irvin Hayes says he lost his day job because of the pandemic. He claims it's not a full time business. And when people do come to have work done that they can't afford to go on the outside, yeah, I do make a little extra money every now and then, but nothing major where you. You know, you could put someone legitimate bidding it out on a corner. But Temple says the city has taken the owner to court. Even after court action, the cars have returned a short time later. As taxpayers, we pay for services. And we're supposed to receive those services. Yet Webb says the violations continue to happen in Inglenook. How far out into the road was it? You see where that break is right there? Overgrown lots like the one next door to Webb's. So you used your own cash and own oh, absolutely. to fix this up? Absolutely. Or an old burned out home with missing steps. Across the street, cars sitting on a lot, even after Webb says she's reported all of these properties multiple times. We are all elite and valuable in the eyesight of God, and we are to be treated that way. As for me and my house, in the neighborhood. I demand that. The city says it has 64 active zoning violation cases it's working on and 60 occupied properties with things like junkyards in them. The city is also saying that it understands there's challenges here in this neighborhood and is working on a more aggressive strategy toward finding compliance. Reporting in the Inglenook neighborhood, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.